Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Arts. How order. has the Albanese Labor government changed previous approaches in order to recognise the importance of the national collecting institutions to Australia? I give the call to the Minister for the Arts. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. And I, I thank the member for Canberra uh, for the question and acknowledge the member for Canberra uh, her strong advocacy for the national collecting institutions because all of those national collecting institutions uh, you know, whether it be the Portrait Gallery, the National Gallery, the, the Archives, the National Museum, uh, whether, it, whether it be Bundanon, whether it be the Maritime Museum, all of them have the same essential job, which is to tell the story of Australia. Now, they also, because of the way they've been mismanaged over the last decade, they also tell a story about economic management. And it's not a story you would want to tell. The first concept of economic management with respect to these institutions should be if you start with the concept that they hold our most valuable items, you probably want to protect them. You probably don't want in the National Gallery our most valuable artworks to be in a building that leaks. You probably, if you're talking about the National Library, you think, what do you have to do to look after a book? Starting principle you don't put it in the water. But for the National Library, it wasn't just the roof that was leaking, it was the windows that were leaking as well. But to go one better, at the National Maritime Museum, at the National Maritime Museum, the pontoons were sinking. So it wasn't enough for them to have the water coming down from above. At the National Maritime Museum, they were trying to get the museum itself to fall right down to sea level. And that's the way they left it. And why was it left this way? Because each of these organisations, already underfunded, was facing a funding cliff. When the Prime Minister went out to announce the new funding with the Minister for Finance out at the National Gallery, the member of staff who took us through the National Gallery was their Director of First Nations. You would think an essential position at the National Gallery. But under their funding, that position had to be funded through donations. This was not an add-on position at the National Gallery. This was the Director of First Nations. That's what the person was in charge of, and even that position was not funded. Well, as of this year, the funding cliff has gone. And these organisations now will be funded for the workers to now know they still have a job, for the organisations to know that they st now can plan for the future for the first time, and finally for these organisations to know that we will no longer have a situation where the items in the museum are in a, a place with silica dust flying into it, that now our national institutions Order. will be protected as they always should have been. Yeah.